Right, idol. So, ito na, no, sumula or umpisa na ng mga scenario natin or problem about subnetting. So, first natin, number of networks required. Ibig sabihin, um, given yung number ng networks, hahanapin natin kung anong subnet mask or anong um, yeah, mask ang kailangan para ma-support yung number of networks na hinahanap. Okay, so first sample, 192.168.5.0 slash 24, kailangan daw natin i-split into 10 subnets or 10 networks. Okay, so ito yung mga kailangan natin hanapin. Number of networks needed, given na yan, 10. And then number of bits borrowed or stolen. So, <coughs> Yung number of bits or borrowed stolen, ito yung number ng daliri natin na kailangan natin um, malaman kung ilang bits or ilang number ng daliri ang kailangan mo para ma-support yung hinahanap na number ng network, which is 10. So this time, again, yung formula natin, iharap mo sa yung daliri mo starting from kanan and then starting from 2, doblehin mo lang like 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 hanggang maka-accommodate mo yung number of networks needed, which is 10. So this time, 4 daliri 4 na daliri na gamit natin so 4 bits tayo. Okay? So ngayon hanapin na natin yung subnet mask. Okay, so ang formula natin, new subnet mask equals to old subnet mask plus number of bits borrowed or stolen. So siyempre yung old subnet mask nasa given yan, 24 and then yung number of bits natin 4. So 24 plus 4 equals 28. So ibig sabihin yung slash 28 it can support um 10 subnets from the given 192.168.5.0 slash 24. Okay? So, kapag ka, i-convert natin yan into long format, yan is 255.255.255.240. Okay? So, 28 na once na magkakasunod, i-group mo lahat ng, uh, i-group mo into 8. So, <clears throat> papatak siya sa 240 kasi meron ka ng 24, di ba? So, starting from the left, 25, 26, 27, 28. Papatak siya sa pang-apat na finger mo sa kaliwa. Ang value nun, ah, di ba? Ang sum nun is 240, di ba? For subnet mass. And then, increment niya is 16 kung kailangan mong hanapin yung mga range. So, okay. Gets mo, idol? So, number 2 tayo. 172.20.5.0 16. Kailangan daw nating split sa 200 networks. Okay, your subnet. So, ang mga kailangan natin, number of networks needed, 200. Siyempre, number of bits borrowed or stolen. So, bibilangin natin yung daliri natin kung ilan yung uh, magagamit natin to accommodate 200. So, again, same formula. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Siyempre, hindi ka siya. Labas mo naman yung kaliwang kamay mo. Ganun din. Dodoblehin mo lang. Okay? So, 64, 1, 2, 8, 2, 5, 6. So, so within the 2, 5, 6, sa pang 8 na finger na accommodate na natin yung 200. Okay? Nagigets mo, idol. Di ba yun yung formula natin? So, il- <coughs> Yung mga badalire or yung bilang ng daliri na nagamit natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 na daliri, 8 bits. Okay, malinaw? Dapat na uh, nagigets mo na yan, malinaw na sa'yo kasi ito yung pinakamadaling technique. So, 8 bits. So, again, yung new subnet mass formula natin, old subnet mass plus number of bits borrowed or stolen. So, ibig sabihin, 16 yung old subnet mass natin, di ba, from the given. Ipa-plus natin ngayon yung number of bits stolen, which is 8. So, 16 plus 8 equals 24. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung slash 24, it can support 200 subnets or 200 new networks from the given 172.20.5.0 slash 16. Okay? So, yung slash 24, kapag long format mo yan, 255.255.255.0. Or, 24 na once na magkakasunod. And then, walong 0 sa, sa dulo. Okay? So, kung, ikukon, kung para makita mo pa, di ba, yung uh, parang tinitingnan natin yung sum, yung kulay green. So, bilang ka ng 8 na ones, papatak siya sa 255. Di ba? Ang increment nyan is 1. Kung kailangan mong hanapin yung range or yung mga last valid host, uh, uh, first valid host or mga valid host range, etc. Meron tayong separate lesson for that. Okay? So, for now, subnet mask lang ang hinanap natin given yung number of networks required. Okay? Alright, so I hope malinaw, idol. I hope um, nakuha mo more of this on the coming lessons. Okay? Thank you.